Hey folks, welcome back. Excited for another video for you, and I'm going to do one that I think you'll enjoy. Today I'm going to be talking about five things I learned while playing guitars for 70 days straight. Stick around. All right, so I've been doing an experiment for quite a while now, and over the last year, and more so in my bullet journal, I have been keeping track of a particular habit that I wanted to improve on and get better at, and that is playing guitar. Quite simply, I've got a don't break the chain type system going on here. Really, all it does is ask, did I play guitar? Okay, hashtag don't break the chain. This is um, just a small calendar that I printed out for the whole year and I inserted into my bullet journal, okay? The whole idea behind this is I've been doing like don't break the chain for a while for other things, writing and different things like that. And it got to be a little overwhelming. So I wanted to focus on one thing and that is playing guitar. A lot of you may um, know Don't Break the Chain from Jerry Seinfeld. He kind of, you know, made it popular where he was trying his best to write a new joke every day. And once he saw that chain forming, he did not want to quit for anything. And I also recently read a book called Atomic Habits by, I think his name is James Clear. And he talks about, you know, if this, this is well, I believe, but he also says if you do break uh, one day, his goal is not to do two days in a row, not to break it two days in a row. So my goal was to stack up these X's like you see here every day for a year. Okay, and I wrote some milestones beside each one to let me know if I slacked off, why I slacked off, or what was going on. So I had 27 days accomplished, not in a row, but 27 days accomplished in January of last year, 23 days accomplished, 24 days accomplished. Uh, and as we go into June and July, uh, nothing much happened here because that's when the baby was born and I was busy dealing with that, that whole transition. Taking a break on this until se uh, September. It was August, but then I've said September, give myself another month to uh, transition into the new baby. So I didn't worry about any, you know, if I play guitar or anything like that, I may have, but I didn't worry about tracking it. Kenneth Burris fitted it, visited and jammed in September of last year. I did uh, the Pliny Strandberg contest. I was working on Still Hurts by Marcos Foley. I did 30 days. That was my longest streak was 30 days in October. November was hunting. And so I kept stacking up the days. Uh, I missed this day, it's the 10th of October. Then after that, I just kept stacking them up, even during hunting season, which is a tough time for me to get anything done because I'm so exhausted from getting up so many days early in a row. Hunting and holidays in, in um, December, and my streak was broken due to hunting because I was like, too exhausted to even think about it. So my total streak from October the 11th all the way down to December the 19th was, I believe I counted 70 days straight. And I want to tell you about the five things I learned today by playing guitar for 70 days straight, okay? That was an awesome experience. I enjoyed it. And I'm still, I've got another one going on today, not an experiment, but I've got a whole new Don't Break the Chain for this year. And it looks like this. And so I've got a few more things I'm tracking down here, like writing and playing guitar and creating music and things like that. So this will uh, allow me to see what's been my priority and what seems to be working. And so for this time I'm using a little different system and each new mark is something different. So over here you can see I've been playing guitar and doing some other things as well. Actually, I broke my streak yesterday. I didn't play guitar at all yesterday, but uh, I'm seeing a lot more slashes than not slashes. So that's very good. That's fine. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of good stuff. But anyway, let's get on to the meat of this topic here. That is five things. Number one, if something is important enough to you, you will make time for it. Now let's just go over exactly what playing guitar means, okay? So for me, I considered playing guitar to be any time I picked up the instrument for probably at least five minutes. If you can just make yourself do something for five minutes, it's easier to go on. The only thing that I wish I would have done is did this earlier in the day because most of the time I'd let my day go by and then by 11 o'clock at night, it was time to play guitar. Sometimes I played for an hour. Sometimes I played 10 minutes before midnight and consider that not breaking my streak. The point is that I made myself do it though, right? You could be lazy, you could be depressed all day or whatever's going on, you can make yourself do it and have time and make, make time for it, okay? For me playing guitar, some days it was uh, on, on Sundays, I would be playing at church and I didn't want to play anymore that day. I didn't want to practice any scales or anything like that on my electric guitar, electric guitar. And so that would count for that day. Some days it would be sit down and play along to some chill music on YouTube or some other music on YouTube. And I would have fun doing that. The point was to play every day as much as possible. And I don't know how many days exactly, I haven't told up how many days, but I'm guessing there's probably at least, out of all the time that I had here, probably at least 250 if not 300 days out of the whole year that I was able to play guitar. And for me, that's a huge accomplishment. So 
The point is I made time for it because it's something I wanted to do and it was important to me. Sometimes things got in the way, sometimes I was exhausted and I just let that go, that's fine. I didn't beat myself up for it because my overall goal was to play guitar and I was achieving that for pretty much at that point, okay? So number one, if something is important enough to you, you will make time for it, all right? Number two, it doesn't have to be practice to count. As I said before, for me, playing guitar wasn't always practicing. Sometimes it was sitting down, playing along with music. Sometimes it was playing in church, like I just said. It wasn't for me, I have to practice guitar every day. It was I have to play guitar every day. And sometimes that play turned into practice. Sometimes that, that was something that I wanted to do. I found myself wanting to play scales or learn arpeggios or work on triads or whatever, or just try to work on my melody, my melodic phrasing and things like that. Easy things like that. And a lot of the time was practicing Still Hurts by Marcos Foley. Now I've been practicing that for over a year now, and I'm still not at the level I want to be. I've pretty much learned it for the most part, but I'm still not at the speed. And I'm considering just releasing the, the video of me playing it, even at a lower speed, just to say that I got it done. I'm not gonna worry about being perfectionist about it because I wanna move on. There are other things I wanna learn too, right? So. But for me, I've had the patience to do that and work on that song, okay? Now, I've done some live streams and things like that here on the channel, and I'll probably leave a link or a card or something to that that you can watch it. That was fun, and it was exciting. And even if I had nothing else to do, I could still work on that. I had still had something I was trying to achieve, right? So I always had something on the back burner that I wanted to achieve. Sometimes uh, it was, let's play with the Helix a little bit. I haven't touched the Helix in a while just to m mess around with it. So I would play with the Helix, and I would you know, t and play a few licks and do some things like that. And that would count as playing guitar because I actually picked the guitar up and played it and, and worked with it and things like that. So it doesn't have to be practiced to count. If you're looking to play guitar every day, don't hold yourself to such a high standard that you can't meet it, all right? Next point, the chain system, the don't break the chain system really works, okay? It does, it does. You see this chain building up and then all of a sudden there's more chain days than there are no chain days. And you think to yourself, man, I, I do not want to break that streak. I've I've worked hard for that. And by doing that, you're kind of like playing a little sleight of hand with yourself. Because on one hand, you are, this is what you're paying attention to. And that is, I've got to do this chain. I've got to keep it going. I've got to keep it working. But what's happening behind the scenes is you're getting better on guitar without even trying, really. Because you're focused on something else more so than I've got to get better guitar. It's not getting better guitar, it's just picking up the guitar and playing it. So that's some really cool, almost like reverse psychology or something to get you getting a habit going and it not being so painful for you because you're focused on working with the chain. You're focused on not breaking that streak that things are naturally happening. It's like watch grass grow. You, you watch grass grow, it's not gonna grow. But if you leave it alone for a while, next thing you know, it's time to cut the lawn because it's just out of control, right? Because you're focused on something else. So the chain system really works. Give it a try. If you wanna bust through some creative roadblocks or some things like that and just wanna start leveling up, give the chain system a, a try. Point number four that I learned, you're more likely than not to strike idea gold. So here's some wonderful things that happen. You've heard them probably called happy accidents. By me playing guitar more, there were more ideas I was having. So I would pick up my phone and record a video of these ideas. And now I've got a backlog of ideas that I can access when I want to create new music, when I want to create new songs, when I want to create new solos, whatever. I've got a plethora of ideas, song snippets, riffs, solo ideas, whatever, licks. I'm more likely to strike idea gold than not by following this system and by trying to play guitar and by playing guitar for 70 days in a row that's one of the things I learned is that you, you're going to keep on at something until something actually happens all right you, it, you're going to get an idea you're going to get you're going to have a breakthrough this is the same thing as writers when they write every day yes you might find if you're writing fiction that you hit this plot this wall this plot hole you can't work around uh, Stephen King is in his book on writing he talks about how in the stand he hit a point where he could not finish it couldn't figure out a way around it and he would take walks every day and finally he had a breakthrough and he rushed back home before he forgot the idea to write it down okay in this in the book the stand and so more likely you're going to be able to get past your roadblocks get past your creative ruts and come up with something great that you would not have before some ideas and some new techniques because you're kind of building them in your your mind and you're you know searing them into your neural pathways and things like that that you wouldn't have if you hadn't just committed to it and it's not as a big a commitment as you think if you just stick to doing it every day it could be where you got a five minute break on lunch play for five minutes you know instead of turning on your favorite tv show cause yourself to 
have that TV show as a reward after you've played guitar. Not practiced, but after you've played. Spend 10 minutes playing guitar. More likely than not, if you're having fun, if you come across something, you're going to want to play longer. And if you don't come across something, you're not going to be stressed out that you didn't because you're going to be, hey, I achieved my goal for today. I played guitar, right? This could be writing, it could be with anything, but this is just applying this to play guitar, all right? And number five of the things I learned from playing guitar for 70 straight days in a row is that I now have the confidence to tackle other repetitively creative habits, okay? Writing, sketching, any other hobbies or things that I like to do. If I find that I'm overwhelmed doing it, then just start a chain for it. Just start a chain, try to keep it going. And I have now the confidence that I can tackle these things. I can work on my novel editing or I can work on my blog posts or whatever. I did a video not too long ago. I think I'll release that before this one, but I did a video not too long ago about blocking out my month and my year in months so that I could achieve more goals in 30 days at a time by focusing on one thing at a time. That, in addition to what I'm telling you here, keeping up with this and, and playing guitar for 70 straight days in a row is something to help move me forward, propel me forward and get excited, motivated and see that there are evidences behind that I've done this already and why not do it with something else? Maybe even something more, you know, outlandish or more, you know, a little bit harder than just playing guitar every day. Maybe I want to learn a new scale every day or I want to learn a new riff every day or anything like that. You can apply that to other things when you see the evidence there and you can't not see it because it's already there in paper for you. You've wrote it down, you've printed out a calendar, you've, you've done this on a wall calendar, whatever, their X's are there. That is evidence that you've committed to something, that you've stuck with it. And when, at the end of this, you'll be able to see that you're leaps and bounds above where you were before you'd started. And you'd not be able to get all this without it, okay? So to recap, number one, five things I learned from playing guitar for standard straight days. Number one, if something's important to you, you will make time for it. Number two, it doesn't have to be practice to count. Number three, the don't break the chain system really works. Number four, you're more likely than not to strike ideal gold when applying this. And number five, you'll get the confidence to tackle other repetitively creative habits and hobbies, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please check out these other videos that I'll have available for you. And until the next time, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't, click that bell. And we'll see you on the next video. God bless and keep creating.